Now here's a challenge. This is the Chichester Canal. We walked down this, uh, or along this, about a month ago when we were having our last holiday. Our last holiday. And what we've got really is just a mass of trees lining the banks here, the pathway here, which was the old towpath, an overhanging tree and some foliage here. My wife walking down the, the path. Uh, so the the canal doesn't um, go into the into the, the salt water. It's blocked off a mile or so down here, and then you carry on the walk along footpaths and you come to the the Chichester Marina. It's all in this 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 area called Chichester Harbour. Uh, the harbour isn't it, Chichester? It's the whole bit of south coast there. It's, it's all these these lovely inlets. And almost islands, Hayling Island, Thorn, Thorn, Thornley Island, Thorny Island. Uh, then you've got the Chidham Peninsula, and then on to, to Bosham. And it's a really lovely, lovely spot. I, I painted this. I hadn't done one of the canal like this. I've done one looking the other way, and I've done one in showing the Salisbury Cathedral across the plain in watercolour, I think. But anyway, I'm going to have a go at this. Now I must remember to point my camera back to the board. Maria Kellen has come up with another great idea. She said, why don't you put a mirror on the board? Then you can see what you're looking at. And if you're not pointing in the right direction, you will be able to see it. But I think, since I moved this board quite a lot, I think I'll be a bit of a tall order. Now, um, I'm going to... Lower my camera. I should have done this before, but I'm going to just just lower it, lower it a bit, so that it's more in line with the actual painting. It's probably why I can't get a nice square-on view of my pictures at the end. Right. Okay. So uh, we'll put that to one side. We'll do a, an impression of it. As you know, I don't paint anything, anything exact. Not a lot of sky. There's my palette. Lemon yellow, uh, or mid yellow, lemon yellow, uh, yellow ochre, white, vermilion, alizarin, uh, ultramarine, burnt sienna, black, and the stalo, or viridian, which I drastically modify to make my lovely greens. Well, in my opinion, anyway. So I need to just put some fresh paint on. And as you know, you own, you need more white than any other colour. So, buy the largest tubes you can, or pots that you can afford, or buy. I will just clean that off, and I'll clean the let the yellows off because they're all well. We've, we've not much of them left there, so we'll. So since this is essentially a green picture. Right, that's how I bought this acrylic. It's been for use in Galleria. Uh, it's uh, titanium white. It's very good stuff. It does dilute a bit on the palette, on my favourite palette. But I don't begrudge anything I spend on painting. We've got a lot of, lot of fun out of it, a lot of pleasure. And that is medium yellow, so that'll go there. And we'll have some lemon yellow, which is there. Right, okay, so we'll we'll put in some foliage first. So we we'll, 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 the finishing point is about is about there. Um, about there. Okay, so yellow the phthalo, you can see how, how bluey green it is. Look. So a bit of bit of red in there. But I want dark I want dark colours, a bit of black. I want dark. So we're coming up to that vanishing point. And then there and then we've got
Right. Put that. Right. Plenty of vermilion. As we go to the distance, we'll, we'll go blue. So I'm coming down here, black and yellow, and a bit of shadow from the other side of this path. There's a, there's a bit of a verge there as well. But I, I, this is just a foil for the lighter colours, so black, yellow, red. Black makes some lovely rich greens. Oh, I suppose to a certain extent it does punch holes in your paper, in your paper, but so we can put them, we can put our colours back on top of it. And that's some here, and of course there from this tree here. I love black. And okay, let's get some nice dark shadows along the bank. I haven't primed this paper, it's Canson paper. It's smooth. I've just noticed it's smoother on one side than the side I'm painting on. I think I like painting straight onto the paper. The paint then becomes the primer because once it's dry it's waterproof. Black. I might have to put some more out. Uh, let's have some different yellow on there. Plenty of red. Nice warm. All the way along here. See, this is this is the underlying colour over which I will superimpose all my lights. I need to. Pull out some more black in my back. Oh, it's getting a bit empty. That's a stock up on that. It dries very quickly on the palette, it's black, regardless of the waters underneath the membrane. Um, now I want some red. So I don't put a lot out because otherwise it would just waste. So I'll just clean up my red. I really like this red, I never used to use it. Not red, in uh, vermilion. The red, it's a lovely bright red, it does my poppies. I will put poppies in this one, no doubt. They seem to get in everywhere when I do a bit of green now. Well, countryside. I think, look at the poppies I did yesterday on the bike ride. Uh, the, the poppies tend to be not quite as red as I'm making them. So you can reduce the impact of the red by putting some of the red with some lemon yellow don't lighten red with white unless you want a pink. Lighten red with yellow. Or mix the red into the yellow. Don't do the other way around, otherwise it'll stay red. Right, okay, red. Oh, this gets a bit, a bit lighter there. Blue. A bit of blue in there. No, more blue. Right, that, that's the basis of that. Now, water, well, just paint what you see. Don't try and justify it, say, oh, that looks like a reflection. If it says light green, put light green in and put it more or less where it's supposed to go. And then bit by bit, it'll all come together as a reflection. So, yellow. Oh, we've got a lot of this coming down here. I think what I'll do though, is put my, my 
my colour back in there. Then I can paint over the reflection. A lot of red in this. Now what I do today, and the way I do it, it might not be what I do tomorrow. I'm largely making this up as I go along. So really dark. All over. Okay, so let's do some green down here along this, this bank, but pretty in dark. It's easier to paint dark and then superimpose the light over it. it has more impact. It's all dry. Bit of a bit of a grey grey ochre path. So red. So sort of an asphalt path here. Okay. And that's uh, the path actually converges and vanishes there. Okay, now we've got to do some... No, oh, let's put a... No. no. Do a bit more on those trees, then we'll put the sky in. I've finished my tea, no. Mixing with that, that yellowy green. Could stipple this, but um, see how we go. They're picking up uh, oh. Oh, let's carry on in the same vein. So lemon yellow, bit of black, a lot of yellow, yellow, bit of red.
I'm just playing scant attention to to what's going on here. I I, I, I might end up stiffening it. If I if I'm, I struggle to do this, I'll I'll resort to the stipple. Then you know I've lost it. And all these nice greens over the top. Some of them are quite dark greens. Uh, the the sun is, is, is coming across here. Uh, so I put that blue in and I'm going to put some more in to, to stretch that aerial perspective into the distance. So let's put some blue, white, bit of grey, see what that looks like. I'll be a bit bright. Let's put that in the back in here. Go uh, over that. Yeah, quick that's right. See that's a sort of device using your blue to stretch the, because being a cool colour it will stretch the landscape. Right let's uh, do a bit of that pathway I think. I'll use, uh, I'll use this expensive filbert I think they call that. The B12 Daler bristle white. I had this brush for years and I've, I've Bought a lot of these sort of brushes when I was um, painting Venice a few years ago. Let's just get the colour right there. That's quite a light. Can taper that. We'll, we'll bring the foliage in there. Right. Okay. Let's put in some. I'm not a lover of this shape brush. I have to say, I like flats. And now I've got a small flat, that's short, long flats on the back. Most of my brushes start off as long flats and end up short flats. Because I'll wear them out. What's that one? Oh, that's another filbert, isn't it? Won't be doing that one. Yeah, no, 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 no. Quite fussy with my brush, excuse my back. That's a worn one, that'll, that'll do. So let's put in some nice yellow. And a bit of dark here. Shadow in there. So we've got, we've got a bit of that taper happening. I'm just mixing up some... Oh, some ice cream. Ooh, that's not.
Hoi daar, hè? Daar laat daar zie je een beetje. En dan de lighter greens. Right, well that's that's that. Let's um, concentrate a bit on the sky. We'll put that in. Or it's just it was just a blue blue sky, like blue sky. Uh, and then we'll we'll start to sort out this and the reflections and the stuff over here. Plenty of plenty of of, of light. You know, I'm going over what I painted. It's quite a thick paint here. Just reduce that, that strength of that distance so we can look soft, 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 soft. So this that bluey sort of greeny colour. Mm, I want to light some that. And that will come down there. Mm. These uh, here are catching the sun from overhead so we just it's all just hang overhanging this bank here it's quite fairly deep it's a very very lovely piece of water it's in good condition there are lots of fish and, and uh, dragonflies in here well I think we will do a bit of stepping on there but let's get some some of that green in here Look, I'm just putting that over. It just looks like a mess at the moment. Um, right, uh, right well, we will do some stiffle. I, I like stiffle. It gets me out of, this, out of a tight corner. Uh, oh, well, let's put in some, more, some of the sky kind of back in the, in the river.
Right, okay, so that's that. Let's uh, find my stipple brush. Oops. Right, okay, so let's uh, put some lights, some light yellows on here. Yeah, but you get desperate, get the stipple out. It's all very quick. But we've got this lump along here. Uh, so let's need some dark, some dark greens. Right, just show the, sh the negative shapes of all this around here. Let's go for a trip. Stretch. Stretch. Ah, nice and flat. There's oh. more red in there. So we can warm warm up these darks as we as we go. That needs a bit come down a bit there. Nice darks in here, all coming down to that bank there, and then we've got these like reeds and all sorts, all sorts of stuff there. So I'm painting back my darks. Just look for your darks. And this will cover that a bit. And then we've got the the bank coming no, it actually goes around there, doesn't it? Right, let's go put that put that uh, bank back. I've, I've, that was a reflection, the actual bank comes along. Here. Right, okay, that's that's let's put that back. Right, that's a bit better. Uh, right, now we can put our lights back with our, our stippler. Oh, if I do, I just want to bring that sky down a bit. And plenty of white with the blue. That's a better shape, come down a bit more actually. Oh, that looks all right. Right, uh, a bit more stipple now, a stipple brush. 
This might take a bit longer than I had hoped, so I'll uh, have a break for lunch in a moment. I'll just get the dark stipple back. Black, red, yellow. Just softening the, the, the bank there. lights back in there. Could be softer that has. Right, just I'm just gonna soften. I almost reinstated that bank. Well, I'm going to call that a day for well, a morning anyway. That'll be part one. Thanks for watching thus far. We're coming on. See you later. Bye bye.